Hello Internet, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Generation 1! In the last episode, we defeated the uh, third and fourth gem leaders in the gem leader castle mode here in Pokemon Stadium. This time, we're heading back into stadium mode. And this time, we are going to be taking on the Petit Cup! A tournament with many cute Pokemon, but don't let down your guard. You will be tested. Yes, you will. To start, let's go over the rules. Okay, frankly, these rules are fucking weird. <laughs> okay, so... The only eligible Pokémon are those that are completely unevolved, uh, have a height of 2 meters or less, a weight of 20 kilograms or less, are level 25 to level 30, with anything under level 25 being disallowed, and the three entered Pokémon's combined levels cannot add up to 80 or higher. Yeah, it's weirdly specific. It says Mew can't attend, uh, but hey, maybe Mewtwo can? <laughs> Except he can't get it at level 25, so no, it can't. Yeah, this one is just weirdly specific. It also has the normal rules like getting a continue after a perfect match, no self-destruct move, no two Pokemon asleep or frozen. It's just, I don't know, it's, it's weird, but whatever. Let's move right on to registration. Our team is going to consist of Bulbasaur, Pikachu, Sandshrew, Ghastly, Horsey, and Dratini. Yeah, there's not many Pokemon that are even eligible here. This was very quick to pick out. With that, uh, I guess let's not begin because I quit out of the menu. <laughs> let's begin. Using the only registered set for Petit Cup. Run up against Bug Boy again. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna be relying on Dratini's Fire Blast, which isn't the most reliable thing in the world. Uh, otherwise, I think, I mean, I, combined with Rock Slide from Sandshrew and Nightshade from Ghastly, this shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> Let's get underway with Pokemon Tournament Chikita, the tournament for unevolved Pokemon. Let's see how much fight the cutest Pokemon can put up. Once again, we have unique music for the stadium modes. is a wild one from the word go. Oh, it's execute. How will the type difference affect that? Ah! No, this Pokemon looks wrong. Wow! Take it down with one hit. There's a difference in the number of reserved Pokémon. Oh, it's Weedle! The song almost has like a very ska vibe about it, and I kind of love it. Pokémon, like, battle themes in this series do tend to be, like, they tend to, like, reach across genres pretty frequently, but... I don't know. Stadium just has a different sort of battle theme, and I love it. Anyway, we outsped, hit with Fire Blast three times in a row, and one shot every single time. And even got a crit one time, so... We're off to a pretty good start here. That was an actual, genuine perfect. Lad. So Lad has a ditto which can pose a problem. I think what I'm going to lead with here is... Uh, okay, so what I'm going to do... P 
Pikachu, Horsey, Sandshrew. That deals with most of his team. Uh, if he leads with Ditto, I can just switch into uh, Sandshrew, have it use Transform, and then use uh, whatever water move Horsey has on Sandshrew. If he transforms into Pikachu, I can switch into Sandshrew, use Dig. If he transforms into Horsey, I can switch into Pikachu, use Thunder. So this covers his Ditto, and it also covers the rest of his team pretty effectively as well. What kind of battle can we expect to see? Begin round two. All right, leading with Ekans. It's a weird one, but I think I am going to switch into Sandshrew so we can just dig right away. Granted, Ekans is almost certainly just going to go... Okay, I was going to say it's going to go with Rap, but Glare is a close second for annoying moves that Ekans can use. And now it'll probably go for Rap, now that it's guaranteed to be faster. Yep. Wow. What now? I'll take it. I will not take that. I'm not going to take it. No. I'm not gonna take it. What that? It's a light hit. <sighs> it can't make a move. Neither one. I'm not gonna take it anymore. I'm just going right for thunder. I like hopefully we hit and one shot. Yeah. I'm not dealing with rap right now. I'm not. <laughs> I am not willing to. It's too late at night for that. Okay. What I'm gonna do right here is I'm going to use Thunder Wave since Pikachu is faster before it transforms. Hopefully it's not fully paralyzed this turn so it actually gets to transform into Pikachu and now when I switch into Sand Slash, his Pikachu isn't really going to be yeah, you know, it's going to outspeed Sandshrew still, but we both have it equally as high of a chance of not moving. And all his Pikachu can really do to my Sandshrew is, I think it was Slam and Flash. So yeah, I think I think this is just genuinely he was outplayed. <laughs> Flash will be annoying, but it's not the end of the world. It will be the end of the world if Sandshrew never gets off his ass and moves. But it looks like Ditto is... They are just... They are literally staring each other down. This hot battle? They're not doing anything! Pikachu's just flashing! Sandshrew! Move! Do something! What now? Yeah, it's working. Lit when we hit this thing, like... Okay, so we finally moved. We're either going to be fully paralyzed next turn, or we're actually going to be able to move and we're going to miss. Oh, there's going to be a change of oh my Pokemon. fucking god. <laughs> I'm going to scream. <laughs> oh... You don't say. Oh my god. <laughs> Sandshrew on his way to try and make the most pathetic display of all time. What will it do? A decent hit. That was decent. That was about a sixth of our health. Luckily, we do get to use Ice Beam here. Okay, I think Ditto's Transform is reset now. Which means we... Yeah, we have a choice now on what we want Ditto to transform into. The answer is no longer Pikachu, as has been proven, I think. I want Ditto to transform into Sandshrew. 
I want this kid to get a taste of his own medicine. There we go. How will the SWAT Pokemon fight? Oh, you'll see. Another Pokemon chain! Stop sounding so exasperated about it, man. It's like a pivotal mechanic in this game. What's this? Oh god. Okay. Will I was gonna say if it attacks and gets a crit right off the bat, that would suck. And it did, but it didn't knock out, thank god. I don't think this will knock out either. Never mind. Okay. That do that ditto caused some serious problems for the first time ever in Pokemon history. God, the way Pidgey stares at you in the screen is so funny. It's another extra continue. I will take it. NERD! Okay. His team is overwhelmingly weak to Sandshrew's dig. Uh... Although I- okay, I love- I love the coughing. Because you can read its name as either Fingcough or Effing Cough! Uh, and Effing Cough is very funny. I'm gonna bring Sandshrew. Uh, and then I think Ghastly and Pikachu deal with all of- his Pokemon pretty well, too. Horsey might be good. Uh... Whatever. So many of his Pokemon are weak to Sandshrew that I don't think it matters. Okay. Right off the bat, leading with something that Sandshrew cannot deal with. So our first time- oh, wait, hold on. It was tactical. It was planned. I I knew it was gonna explode right off the bat, and that's why I did that. See? Do all of his Pokemon have the ability to use explosion? I think Shelder can learn explosion. He had- what other Pokemon did he have? If his gimmick is just exploding, that's very funny. <laughs> we knocked it out with Thunder anyway. I was half expecting that to miss and then Sh Shelder to just explode. I don't know if Shelder can explode in Gen 1. I know it can in future games, though. Ghastly. That's another exploding Pokemon. Is this guy's gimmick just exploding? <laughs> If so, that's kind of iconic. I love that for him. <laughs> he just likes watching things go boom. What now? A decent hit. What a furious battle. It's a little bit funny that our rental Ghastly appears to be objectively better than his Ghastly. We have a higher HP stat. But we're the same level. Okay. This time we don't really need to rely on Thunder, we can just use Nightshade and it's a guaranteed knockout. Nightshade, Seismic Toss, those moves are gonna be really good in Pokemon Stadium since everything is at a set level. Like, that's a guaranteed 25 damage on in a game where- in a mode where most Pokemon have like 60 HP max. 70 in some extreme cases. There we go. Another extra continue. We're rolling in them right now. Sailor! <sighs> Pikachu. Uh, Ghastly Bulbasaur. The crowd's excitement is building! 
Another new song, by the way. It would have been nice if Pikachu didn't just miss twice in a row, but the first turn at least was funny where Pikachu used Thunder and miss, and then Spearow copied Pikachu exactly. That's how mirror moves should work. You miss and the opponent uses mirror move, they should miss too, otherwise it's not really mirroring anything. Magikarp is his last <laughs> Okay, can we hit three Thunders in a row to make up for missing two in a row at the beginning? We can. This is why Pikachu is the best Pokemon of all time, and the mascot. And there goes the battle! Alright. Junior female again. QQ, Abab, Growl Growl, Polly Polly, Meow Meow, and Jig Jig. It's good to see the return of Jig Jig. Abab would be better if it was Abba, quite frankly. Okay. Her team is very weak to Horsey. Uh, and frankly, I think Ghastly is great to deal with the rest of her team because of its normal immunity. Abra seems scary, but apparently its only move that isn't normal type is Psy Wave, so that's just random damage. Uh, otherwise, I guess when in doubt, bring Dratini, because it has good coverage. We're in the last half of the tournament. Things will get white hot. Begin round five. Off to a good start. That is one of the Pokemon she has that's weak to Horsey. Can I just say, I love Petit Cup as a concept, and I wish it came back more. Uh, it does come back in, I believe, Stadium 2. Uh, and Battle Revolution may have something similar to it. I can't really remember off the top of my head because that game isn't very good. But I wish there were more facilities in, like, say, for example, the Battle Frontier. Which, I hear people sing their praises the Battle Frontier a lot. When I played through it, I could not stand it. If they had things more interesting like these cups in Pokemon Stadium though, I think I would love the Battle Frontier. This is a great idea to give spotlight to a lot of lower leveled, unevolved Pokemon that you would normally not use. Especially when you're picking up team members later in games. What are the odds you actually bother to pick up an unevolved Pokemon and then actually use it without just grinding it on high level Pokemon until it evolves? Like, switch train. This is just a great idea to give some of these unevolved Pokemon the spotlight that they really do not get. Especially in modern generations, there's a lot of unevolved Pokemon that I can think of that I wish people, like, thought about existing. Choctopus is one of my favorites in uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield, but nobody knows Choctopus exists because Grappelox takes up all the memory space they have because... By the time you can encounter them, you can just encounter Grappelocked in the wild. It, I don't know. It drives me insane that 
like, these are great Pokemon designs for a lot of these unevolved Pokemon, and they just really don't get a chance to shine because they're either found so late in the game that you can just get their evolution or evolve them right away, or they're like stone evolutions, for example. I even said in my bio for Eevee, just evolve it. Which, yeah, just evolve it, Eevee's bad, but in future generations, Eevee gets a lot more moves and it's, like, fun to use before evolving. Eevee can learn Shadow Ball from Generation 2 onwards. That alone makes Eevee a lot more usable. I don't know. I think unevolved Pokémon deserve as much a place in competitive scenes as evolved Pokémon. Luckily, Little Cup exists in fan, you know, fan formats for that, but I wish Game Freak would acknowledge that fact a little bit more. Okay. That was a very clean battle where I got to just rant about one thing. Next up, Junior Male. Okay. Abyss team is very weak to electric, so I think Pikachu. Horsey is good against another third of his team. And I think Sandshrew is good for insurance against that Charmander and Magnemite? The field is thinning out. We're into round six. Okay. As expected, leading with a Pokemon that's weak to electric. Now it's just a matter of, can Pikachu actually hit with thunder, please? The answer appears to be no. Okay. I'm gonna say it, that was a bad first turn. But Pikachu, the thing about Pikachu is he never misses twice. He just don't miss. Let him cook. God, Pikachu's so sassy in this game. I love all his animations. Oh, Magnemite. Magnemite! Okay. The count is three to two. Uh, Pikachu can't really do much against Magnemite. I mean, we could use Slam, which is inaccurate, and wouldn't knock out. Magnemite's not Steel-type yet. That's important to remember, so Ground isn't going to be four times super effective, but... I'd rather use Dig than Slam, especially when that is the damage that Magnemite is going to be doing to Sandshrew. It is faster. But it doesn't appear to be learning anything fast, so... That's fine. I failed to see how the term Furious suits this battle again. True. Trust me, I, I trust the narrator with my life. If he were to narrate my life, I'm sure he would get every fact correct, but... Sometimes he says things that just don't really fit in with reality. <laughs> okay. Seems like taking Sandshrew for that insurance was a pretty good plan. It seems like this guy's main strategy is just to use moves that lower your defense, specifically Leer. That Magnemite probably knew Screech. Yeah, sort of seeing how various trainers around this game just have... Have... What did I even say? Oh my god, I'm sorry. I'm recording so late at night that I can't even remember what I say in my commentary anymore. <laughs> Charmander has fainted, though. Got the little swiggly, the swirly eyes that I love so much on fainted Pokemon in the anime. Perfect. Perfect! Two left. This is going much faster than Pika Cup. I maybe should have done this first. Lass. So her team is well-rounded and all of her Pokemon have decent movesets. Uh... I'm gonna bring Sandshrew, because it's super effective against Kabuto, Pikachu, and Vulpix. We're just gonna have to be careful of Surf and Ice Beam. For the three normal types, I'm gonna pick Ghastly and Prey. And I think I will 
bring Bulbasaur. This is it, the semi-final! No one wants to lose having come this far. Made itself more evasive. It's Pharaoh underground. They're both being cautious. It's concentrating on its state. Dig this. That one hurt. Wow! Take it down with one hit. What will the next Pokémon be? Oh, it's Clefairy! How will the- Okay. Wanted to stay quiet for a little bit because, again, new song, but... Yeah, that was a good first matchup there. Pikachu just used Double Team twice and it did not end up having any effect whatsoever. If that had hit, that 100% would have paralyzed. I fully believe that. Let's see how much this does. I don't think it'll knock out, but... Yeah. And here comes the paralysis. Or a crit. Both are equally likely, I feel. We're just gonna go for Slash here. We're not gonna bother wasting the turn going underground when this will probably end up being a crit. Yep. All right, one Pokemon left. I'm honestly surprised at how easy Petit Cup has been. I was expecting this to take about as long as Pika Cup, but it has not at all. Uh, I don't know if Eevee actually learns any moves that can do anything to Ghastly. So even if this knocks out, which it doesn't, we're fine. <laughs> This probably won't either, but we can switch out into Ghastly, and then I think we just win. <laughs> Which means that'll be seven perfect victories in a row, I think. I don't think a single Pokémon has fainted yet throughout the, the run of Petit Cup. Ghastly does not look very Petit. Ghastly looks huge in Pokémon Stadium. I know it's based up more on weight, and, like, Ghastly's overall height isn't huge, it's more just a very... I don't know. It's weird. It goes by what the Pokedex says, not necessarily by what is factually correct, so... I don't know. Ghastly just ends up looking huge in Pokémon Stadium. I don't know entirely why, but I am a fan of it. Oh boy. Here we go. We are never going to hit with this thunder. What's this? Oh, the attack missed. But I think sand attack is literally all it can hit Ghastly with, yes, so... We're going to keep trying. <laughs> Statistically, we will hit one of these times. Oop, that's a miss. Unless it keeps using sand attack, in which case the odds... I mean, the odds already aren't in our favor. We probably have a less than 50% chance of hitting at this point, but uh, it's way hyper if we do hit. So I'm going to keep going. There we go. That's hype. It didn't knock out? I know it's level 30, but also it's an Eevee. Ghastly, are you okay? Okay. Oh, is it, down and out? it is. I feel like it should have been when we hit it with thunder. <laughs> Got struck by lightning and then shook it off. Still seven perfects in a row, I'll take it. <laughs> I do not expect that to last with the last trainer here. <laughs> Pukmaniac! What if I don't want a Pukmaniac? Okay. Uh. 
Sandshrew is a good option here. Bulbasaur is a good option here. Ghastly and Horsey are both pretty good for last Pokemon in case he brings Dratini. Because you can probably guess that Dratini does no rap. It's basically a matter of do I want to avoid its rap or do I want to avoid its ice beam? And I think between the two I'd rather avoid rap because it's annoying so I'm going to bring Ghastly. I love this guy's nickname. Drata Dratamania. Ranmania, Nidomania, Shrewmania, Simania, Omania. This is it, the final battle! Who will bat in the glory of the championship? Now. Oh, and a rough Pokemon chain! Oh, it's Bulbasaur! Here's the first move! The attack wasn't effective! What a furious battle! There's the attack! Whoa! Looks like a bad Pokémon choice! Ah! Super effective! Neither one is conceding an instant. Ice Beam! Wow! That's an effective hit! Totally planned, by the way. <laughs> I will always say that when ending up with 1 HP. I don't know why I switched into Bulbasaur there. I knew this thing had Ice Beam. Uh, Psyduck is level 25 water type, known to be Surf, Scratch, Ice Beam, and Rest. So it could have just healed there even, and it chose not to. Ammonite is level 30 rock water type, known to be Surf, Double Edge, Blizzard, and Double Team. I think I'm just gonna go for Mega Drain again and hope I outspeed. I do have speed. Okay, I'll take it. This is four times super effective. It might not knock out, but it'll at least restore our health quite a bit. And it's going for Surf instead of Blizzard. It didn't do much damage. You can say that again. Why is he throwing? <laughs> I'll take it. I will take him throwing. However, his last Pokemon is probably Dratini, which means Bulbasaur's luck ends here. Or Sand Shrew? The remaining Pokemon count is three to one. The battle has become one-sided. Oh, he can only bring one level 30 because the level cap is 80 for all three Pokemon combined. So as soon as I saw Ammonite, I should have known he did not bring Dratini. Whatever. Sandshrew's level 25, ground type, known the moves Earthquake, Slash, Rock Slide, and Sand Attack. Uh, Dratini's level 30, Dragon type, known the moves Dragon Rage, Wrap, Ice Beam, and Thunder Wave. Nidoran Female's level 25, Poison type, known the moves Take Down, Bide, Tail Up, and Toxic. And Nidoran Male's level 25, Poison type, known the moves Poison Sting, Horn Attack, Double Kick, and Horn Drill. What's the matter, trainer? I'm going over the movesets, man. There, apparently this is open team sheets, and you aren't going to say anything about it. Okay. I'll take it. This earthquake might knock out. No. Did we just get eight perfects in a row? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Petit Cup is easy. <laughs> Okay! I'll take it!
another trophy. Well, a cup, technically. Okay, the teacup clear. I, I just love this remix of the Hall of Fame theme, honestly. <laughs> Alright. Something I didn't show when we cleared Pika Cup. A trophy does appear on the screen here, or a cup in this case. Uh, that just shows we've beaten it. Things don't change at all quite yet. If we go back in, it will just be the same tournament again. Again, but you can't theorycraft teams in that way, which... I guess is acceptable, but why would you theorycraft against these NPCs when you can theorycraft against real people? I don't know. But, yeah. It's another stadium mode down. Next time on Pokemon Generation 1. We're going to be heading back into the Gym Leader Castle to take on the 5th and 6th Gym Leaders. See you guys then.